Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a super quick video on making predictions. Making predictions. So, in the previous section we talked about correlation and I kept drawing this picture. So that was X, that was Y, and then we had uh, some dots. So in this case we have positive linear correlation and there was a line that came as close as possible to as many of these points as possible. This line has a name, okay, it's called the least squares line, least squares line. And it's written y equals a plus bx. So the idea is that if we have a straight line pattern, given a value of x, we can take the x value and plug it into the line to predict the y value. So we can predict the future basically, right? Because if the data follows a straight line pattern, we basically assume it's going to continue to follow a straight line pattern, which is not a perfect assumption, but it's, it's better than nothing. And we just take the x value and we plug it into the line to get the y value. So if we have a straight line pattern, we're going to use the line to make a prediction. If we don't have a straight line pattern, we're going to do what everyone else does, uh, just use the average. So let me write that down. So making predictions. So one, if you have a straight line pattern, so what does that mean? That means R is significant. We're going to use the line to make predictions. Two, if R is not significant, we're going to use the mean of the Y's. The mean of the Y's. So as you're working through the problems that follow and as you're watching the videos that follow this one, and all of those videos and most of them will have to make predictions, okay? You always have to check first. If R is significant, you use the line to make a prediction. If R is not significant, you use the mean of the Y's. That's it for this video. In the next video, you'll see examples of all of this. That's it.